What myth is still widely circulated as truth? That you have to wait 24 h before you can report a missing person. If someone is missing. Go get help. If an HIV positive person has sex with another HIV positive person. They don't have to worry about protection. They do. Because there are 140 different strains of the HIV AIDS virus. And getting infected with another strain. Especially a potentially deadlier one. Could be dangerous. Also. Pregnancy is still a very big risk for HIV positive women. If you are considering a wrestle relationship. Get tested. And talk to your doctor about birth control. People in general though the world was flat until Columbus sailed the ocean blue. No. The ancient world figured that out a long time before. People just thought that it wasn't possible to sail across the ocean to Asia because sailors would run out of food by then. While Columbus thought that wasn't case because he thought Asia was bigger than contemporary estimates. The white on blue roundel in the BMW logo represents the white blades of a propeller against the blue sky. Alluding to BMW's history as a manufacturer of aircraft engines. This myth was popularized in BMW's advertising for aircraft engines. And perpetuated by the movie Finding Forrester. Close bracket. In truth. The blue and white come from the Bavarian flag. Presented as a circular coat of arms in reverse order to avoid a trademark law prohibiting the use of symbols of state sovereignty in a commercial trademark. It was only in later marketing for aircraft engines they overlaid the logo over spinning propellers. As coincidentally it could be taken to look like a propeller against the sky. They made all sorts of engines for land vehicles as well. I was adamantly told by some seniors at work not to drink the water that boiled twice because it cooks the oxygen out of it. That you can reduce fat from a particular body part. Then why do I have a goddamn needle dick? It's obviously because I work it out so much. Bulls hate red. They are actually color blind and are reacting to the movement of the cloth and the arsehole behind it. That shaving makes your beard grow better. That the US spent over a million dollars in two years to develop a pen that could work in space. Whereas the Soviets decided to just use a pencil. In the early days. Both used pencils. But since pencils are made out of graphite. And graphite is conductive. Snapped graphite particles are dangerous in a pressurized space capsule. To put it lightly. Fisher. The owner of the pen company. Spent his own money to develop a pressurized ballpoint pen. And cost only about three dollars. Zero zero per pen. Edit. I was wrong on the price. The pens first cost about six dollars per pen for NASA. Edit 2. Did some digging on the grease pens. Apparently the thought was that they wouldn't be durable enough on paper. And the paper shroud of the grease pen would still need to be disposed of and thought it might be a problem. The myth. You can tell if a snake is venomous or not by the shape of its pupil. Slit for venomous. Round for non-venomous. The truth. Pupil shape has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not a snake has venom. And. If you're close enough to get a good look at a snake's pupils. You're probably close enough to get bit. The advice. If you cannot. From a safe distance. Immediately identify a snake beyond a reasonable doubt. Assume it's dangerous and behave accordingly. Keep your distance. Stay out of its direct path. And keep your eyes on it until one or the other of you leaves the area. Urine neutralizes jellyfish stings. Use vinegar instead. That stuff will actually save you. At least long enough for an ambulance to arrive. That Marilyn Manson removed two of his ribs to blow himself. So you're telling me I didn't have to remove two of my ribs to be able to blow Marilyn Manson? Gum takes seven years to digest. That goldfish have a six second memory. I mean it's still not great. I think like a couple months. But still. Get your fish a bigger damn tank. Edit. Thank you for the awards and updates. Very kind of you. Daddy long legs are actually the most poisonous spiders in the world but don't have long enough fangs to bite you. 
Undercover police have to tell you they are policemen when you ask them. Breaking Bad has a great scene where an undercover cop tricks a guy into selling him drugs using this myth. Catherine the Great died after attempting to have sex with a horse. This myth was started by the French. And then they ask why everyone believes Napoleon was a tiny, tiny man. Scientists don't know how bees fly. According to all known laws of aviation. That we only use 10% of our brain. Edit. Thanks for the awards, all my first, and the upvotes. My cousin had a roommate who thought this and tried to use 100% of his brain to run through a wall. Something about touching baby birds and their parents abandoning them due to the smell of human touch. Edit. After reading through several replies. Perhaps there is some truth to this based on the animal. One time my son came home smelling like a bird and I told him to get the hell out and never come back. That MR. Rogers was a sniper and or had tattoos covering his arms. Both untrue. Fred Rogers lived a pretty mundane live and dedicated considerable time to creating television programming that didn't rot kids brains. Your blood is blue when not oxygenated. Edit. Thank you all for my first awards. I never thought such a simple answer could have such an impact. That people in the middle ages only lived to 40 or something. There was a lot of child dead. Thus lowering the average age. Living till 60. 70 years old wasn't strange. People believe in the whole alpha and beta wolves thing. It's not true. The leaders of the pack are the parents. In natural wolf packs. The alpha male or female are merely the breeding animals. The parents of the pack. And dominance contests with other wolves are rare. If they exist at all. Knuckle cracking doesn't lead to arthritis. Just an old wives tale people use in place of simply telling you it's annoying them. Crack away. The singer Kira is a man. She just popped out her third kid. This is still circulating. Are you possibly thinking of the singer Lord? I've heard compelling arguments that she's not a New Zealand pop singer. But actually a 45 year male geologist from a small town in Colorado. That the tongue has different regions for salty. Sweet. Bitter and sour. Organic crops don't use pesticides or herbicides. Holding B plus down increases your chances of catching a Pokemon. A lot of people still believe a woman sued McDonald's because her coffee was hot. In reality the woman had third degree burns throughout her pelvic area and only asked that her medical bills be paid. It was like only $30k or something and McDonald's went nope. Here is like $200 bucks. So she sued. They were selling illegally hot coffee without a proper warning. Then. McDonald's spread the lie to keep their good name. That you can tell if someone is a virgin by looking at their hymen to see if it is intact. That MSG is very bad for health and anything with it is seen as unhealthy. That e-waste recycling is good for the environment. Much of it gets shipped overseas to be burned or dissolved in chemicals to extract the precious metals. That washing chicken gets it rid of bacteria. No. Cooking chicken gets rid of bacteria. Given that you do it well. Washing chicken. On the other hand. Can contaminate your whole kitchen with salmonella. That hot chicks in my area wanna. That whole you eat 7 spiders a year myth. It was created by some lady in the late 90s or early 2000s to prove that ridiculous things can be found on the internet. Spread like wildfire. And believed by many. Edit. Wow this blew up. Thank you to all who clarified that it was Lisa Holt. A troll. Edit 2. Maybe? Comma and the fact that this is older than the internet. Myths are weird. It's actually 7 in a lifetime. If you're on your deathbed and have only swallowed one the other 6 will swarm your mouth at once. The diamonds are rare and therefore should be expensive. That is just a myth perpetrated by the DBiz Diamond Cartel. Edit. Wow these are my first awards. Thank you. Shaving hair causes it to grow back longer and thicker. If I remember right. 
that there are only 5 senses. Sugarcane grows faster on sand. Your dang Vegina doesn't loosen up the more SX you have. The muscles may weaken a little with age or childbirth. But not SX. That kids eating sugar makes them hyper. Many studies have proven this to be untrue. That violent video games are linked to violent behavior. Mass shootings. Etc. Remember when Columbine was blamed on Marilyn Manson? Republicans are better with the deficit than Democrats. All that Republicans are better for the economy. Every Republican president in my lifetime has caused a recession. And every Democratic president has had to clean it up. Communism works. That masks are ineffective. Masks are incredibly effective. For both the wearer and those around them. Mask fibers are woven close enough to block the droplets that carry the coronavirus. People say it's like using a chain link fence to stop a fly. But it's more like using a chain link fence to stop a fly that's hitching a ride on a baseball. It reduces transmission drastically. It is proven science. I mean. For God's sake. No one questions surgeons and nurses who wears them. They do not block your breathing. And yes. They trap your coronavirus particles. But if they're trapping your coronavirus particles then you already have coronavirus. It won't make you more sick FFS. Masks are simple. Easy. Put it over your face. And you're doing your part to bring an end to this pandemic. All you faces out there who are refusing for my freedoms are making this thing last longer than it should and kill more people than it should. You want things to go back to normal? You want the economy to come back? You want business to stop shutting down? You want children to actually go to school in person? Then wear AI mask. That cars were built better back in the day. No. They weren't. Those old cars barely made it to 100k miles before ting out. Cause these days can go on for 500k plus miles if you do preventive maintenance on them throughout the years. Oof yes. Together with the boast that old cars would weather most accidents without even getting dented. Modern cars purposely get head up when you are in an accident. They are designed to take the brunt of the impact and protect the driver by crumpling in specific ways that save your hide. That soap destroys cast iron skillets. Soap used to have lye in it which was used to break down human bodies and bones into dust. Now some mild dawn dish soap won't do damage to a pan unless it soaks for a long time. That hand foot size correlates to the size of a dude's junk. I've seen more dicks than a hooker during fleet week, CNA. And I promise that they don't all match up with someone's shoe or glove size. That a factoid is a fun interesting fact. Factoids are actually mistruths being peddled as truths. Factoid I factored the an item of unreliable information that is reported and repeated so often that it becomes accepted as fact. Alpha males, alpha dogs, alpha leaders, etc. The researcher who discovered it debunked it a few years later, but very few registered his disavowal of his original hypothesis. To this day the idea of the alpha wolf pops up in dialogue plots of shows, books, stories, etc. That colds are caused by lower temperatures. A cold is a virus that transmits between people. Edit. A lot of people are saying that cold temperatures weaken the immune system and thus indirectly make you more susceptible. And while it's true. The direct cause for common colds are caused by human contact. That the word sherbet has a second R in it. That the people in Jonestown used Kool-Aid to commit suicide. You hear the term drank the Kool-Aid for someone blindly following orders. It was actually flavor aid. I know it a dumb distinction. I'm sure it makes the flavor aid people happy. Edit. All my knowledge come from last podcast on the left. I'm not a professional. Being wet and not drying off right away will cause you to catch a cold. The market finds the best solution. The detoxing. Drinking a bunch of fruit vegetable juices. That people are sensitive to MSG. The whole MSG thing is just pure racism. As simple as that. MSG makes food I'm delicious. 
and no empirical evidence has ever demonstrated anything negative about it. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. The myth that George Washington's false teeth were made of wood should be put to rest. The teeth in the contraption that he wore at times were teeth of different animals like elk. For one. The teeth were held in with wooden pegs. Hence the myth. Ouija boards work by contacting spirits. Everyone always says they aren't pushing. Here's the thing. Only gullible people aren't pushing it. That the sugar rush exists. Science says otherwise. Antibiotics can cure virus infections. No. Tomatoes aren't a vegetable. They are a fruit and a botanical term but vegetable is a culinary term. Intelligence is knowing tomatoes are a fruit. Happiness is a partner. 2. 5 kids. A cut a child in half for nothing? The internet is a series of tubes. Gun control makes people safer. You have to wait 30 minutes to swim after eating. I think that's only to make sure kids don't throw up in the pool. The food pyramid. Edit. Whoa. Thanks for the awards. My first gold. Close bracket. Edit 2. So many good comments. To answer and respond to many of them. Check out the book Death by Food Pyramid. Sounds extreme. But the author has an entire chapter on how to better research and understand scientific documents reports. One of the best things I have read. The myth that if you work your ass off during your college days. It's gonna be smooth sailing in your adult years. Nope. That the Bible states the earth is flat. Also that Isaac Newton discovered gravity by an apple falling on his head. Yeah. It was actually a coconut and Newton died from the impact. That you can get a cold from staying out in the rain or the cold. It might lower your immune system. But you still have to come in contact with the virus to catch it. The whole fan death thing in South Korea. There are certain days of the year where it's possible to stand a broom on end. That's pure BS. If you do it right. You can do that whenever you want. That tax cuts for the rich result in job creation and a wealthier middle class. Katanas are not some ultimate sword that can cut through anything and can cut a man in two with a swing. They're actually pretty easy to break. Even on just a bamboo stick if you don't hit it in a perfect angle. Using a bamboo as a reference for a katana. That corsets are a lethal torture item and every Victorian woman did tight lacing. The myth about harmful corsets was started by Victorian men. In order to bring down women owned businesses. And some feminists, looking at you. Mo Watson, swallowed that lie. Hook and sinker. Thinking they are empowering somebody with it. The truth is. Corsets are way better than bras. If you have back pains. Which many women have because of their bras. Switch to corsets. There is a reason. Why it was used that long. People will like you if you just be yourself. Glass is not liquid at room temperature. That it's very very hot in Africa with a CPN filter. While it's true that some regions are really hot. It's not that hot compared to European summers. I used to live in Madagascar and I really can't stand European and North American summers. Where I used to live we had 25 C in the summer and 0 C in winter. That breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Water drains counterclockwise south of the border due to Coriolis effect. A whole generation and then some believed this. All due to one Simpsons joke. Edit. Ike it's older than the Simpsons but when they showed it belief spiked. Vaccines cause autism. I don't even hear that much anymore. It has just evolved into. I'm not taking a vaccine it's not natural. In a hind pandemic. No less. You can be fat and healthy at the same time. The wage gap. That drinking 8 glasses of water a day is the minimum to maintain health. Just drink when you're thirsty. We are super sensitive to thirst. And no you're not already dehydrated if you are thirsty. You are just close to it. 
Prince was once admitted to hospital with a gerbil stuck up his ass. Exclamation point. We all know it was Richard Gere. Prince had Richard Gere stuck up his ass? Cutting your hair makes it grow faster. That my dad is coming back with his cigarettes. Police hunt unarmed black men. That you get to adulthood at 18 and you're going to magically know how to be an adult starting at 18. Edit. Now this blew up while I was away doing the dishes. Hello my fellow adult children. We will figure this out along the way. I believe in all of us. If you don't stop making that face. It'll get stuck like that. The female pay gap myth. Trickle down economics. Carrots being good for your eyes. It was a myth created in World War II by the Allies to explain how their pilots got so good at shooting down enemy planes all of a sudden. The real reason was radar technology. That Viginus get loose the more SX they have. They do not. I recently heard it was really just a misunderstanding of the truth. What actually happens is the penis slowly gets worn down to a smaller size. Making the Vigina seem bigger. This was accidentally discovered in a study where men who get laid. Like. All the time. By the hottest bitches were asked how big their penis is. Then measuring it with a 3D laser array. The scientists found that the measurements were significantly smaller than what the men claimed. Leading to the logical conclusion that having lots of SX with multiple women makes your penis smaller. Men can't be abused by women. Hate to be that guy but it truly is amazing how this question is posted once a week and pretty much has all the same answers every time. Actually this question has never been posted before. The notion that it has is actually an internet myth. You can tell a woman has had a lot of S or the partners. Vaccines cause autism. That consumption of dietary cholesterol is directly linked to a rise in body's total cholesterol levels. That circumcision somehow makes you cleaner or provides some sort of magical steep protection. Another myth is that the foreskin is a useless piece of skin. Actually it is highly innovated. And akin to the hood of the clitoris. And has huge sensory capacity and a vital role in S's or pleasure. Don't use soap on cast iron cookware. Semicolon. It's BS. Leftover from the days when most soap was made with lye. I reckon. Modern dish soap is gentle to your seasoning. And besides. Reseasoning is quick, in terms of you needing to be there, and easy anyway. And you rarely need to reseason anyway. And can just project them with a thin coat of fresh oil after washing. People seriously make way too big a deal out of cast iron care. They're inexpensive and nearly indestructible. Use soap to get your gross. Rotten food of your pants. Please. LSD. Psilocybin and cannabis are drugs that are highly addictive and have no medicinal value the little reason for them being schedule 1 drugs and considered extremely criminal. It's all bull and not true at all. Nixon made this up to Harris and arrest his political opposition in the anti-war left and pro-rights blacks. They even admitted doing this and knowing well that the war on drugs would neither work nor had any sound reasoning behind it. Yet five decades later we still kill thousands worldwide every year because of Nixon. Most of the myths in Reddit pages like this are silly or benign. While this myth is among the most deadly misconceptions that is only recently being very slowly reversed in younger generations. That I give it 110% at my job. LOL. That we only use 10% of our brain. Circumcision of babies is healthier and better. Hint. It's not and it's terrible and also their pleasure center. Men have lifelong complications and babies die. Watch this to learn more. www. YouTube. Com watch. The China has never waged a war of aggression propaganda bull still lives on in some. Ask the folks of Tibet and Vietnam whether that's true. The left right brain dichotomy of being either more artistic or scientific. Also. The whole thing about humans using only 10% of our brains. That wolf packs are led by an alpha. This theory was popularized by researcher L. 
David Meck in his 1966 book The Wolf which he later disavowed the terminology of after further research in 1999. That all the things people are saying here are true. That organic is better for you and the environment. Edit. There seems to be a lot of confusion on what the actual differences between organic and conventional agricultural are. Most hit on the biggest thing. And that's that land use requirements. However. Where most are getting it wrong is that organic uses things like less tillage. Uses less pesticides. And that synthetic fertilizers are worse than natural ones. So let's dig into these examples. 1. Tillage. This has nothing to do with being organic or not. As farming on a range of no-till to multiple pass tillage is practiced on both sides. Many conventional farms for certain crops practice no-till or minimum tillage and vice versa. Organic often requires more tillage to deal with weeds too. 2. Both use pesticides. It's just that organic can only use naturally derived ones. Also. Things like GMOs in conventional agricultural is slowly allowing for less pesticide use. 3. Fertilizers. No matter the source. Both types need to be applied at rates where sufficient nutrients are applied yet not overly applying. That James Apples is correct while James's apples is incorrect. You only put the apostrophe after the S only if the word is both possessive and plural. E. G. The citizen's opinions. You do not do that if the word or name already ends in an S. In the case of the first example. James's apples is correct. Edit. It appears that the rules now are that it's personal preference. The European Dark Ages. People seem to love the idea that. Between the fall of Rome and. Like. Da Vinci or something. Everyone in Europe was just blowing spit bubbles and looking at the funny pictures in the Bible. Not only was there not a complete absence of classical learning in Europe during the Dark Ages. But throughout the Dark Ages and medieval period. There actually was a fair amount of progress in fields like architecture. Engineering. Metallurgy. Philosophy. Theology and yes. Even science. But then again. I suppose it all ties back to the notion that people in the past were somehow far stupider than we are. That moths are attracted to light. They're not. They use the light from the moon to navigate. And artificial lights interfere with their sense of direction. I'm paraphrasing but basically they fly into lights because they're confused. Actually the moon thing is also a myth we have no idea why moths react the way they do to light. That Prometheus created man. Clearly. Man created Prometheus. There's no such thing as stupid questions I'm tired of hearing that just for that one kid to raise his hand say some verbal diarrhea like do we fill the entire bubble in the scantron? If you work hard at school and get good grades you'll get a good job and enjoy a stable life.